What you guys got another video here for you. You can finally remove Windows Defender from Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, not everyone likes Windows Defender. It is a bit of a resource hog and it is quite difficult to disable. Now, you can turn it off, but it always re enables itself and it always uses up a ton of system resources. So, if you're one of these people that doesn't want it on the computer whatsoever, then I'll show you how to completely remove it so you'll see none of this on the computer whatsoever. It'll all be gone. And the good thing is uh, it will lower your system resources. Now, of course, I'm not suggesting that you use your computer without an antivirus. So you might be saying to yourself, what is the point of removing this and then installing another antivirus program? Well, some antivirus programs are less resource hungry than Microsoft's Windows Defender, and also they're much more secure than Windows Defender. Now, you could just install a antivirus program and it will automatically disable Windows Defender, but it's still running in the background using up a lot of resources. And that means you're now using two lots of resources on that system. Now, if you're a gamer or you've got a very old computer, then this might be useful because it will lower the system resources on your computer. Also, if you have no plans of installing an antivirus whatsoever, then that is completely up to you. But this will obviously lighten the load a little bit and obviously give you back some system resources if you are on a low end system. But first off, let me just quickly mention that you do this at your own risk. It's always best to make a system restore point. And if it's too much of a risk for you, then please leave it well alone. Anyway, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you want to buy a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then head over to CD Key Sales. Links are in the video description. Create an account and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on your purchases. They will send this key to your account and then you can use this in the system activation to activate your version of Windows. Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial. Now I've head over to GitHub and basically this guy here has created a little program that actually removes Windows Defender for you. And it's a, a cool little GUI interface which you can just click on the buttons and completely remove it from your system. I'm going to be using the registry files which he's actually left uh, for people to use as well because I don't want people getting in the comments section saying that this script or this program gets flagged by their antivirus program. It's a false positive and this is pretty common for this particular type of program. So I'm going to be using the registry files to avoid all of that drama in the comments. It's always advisable to create a system restore point and it does work with all versions of Windows. You can see here, this is the GUI interface and it allows you to disable, enable or remove Windows Defender. Also, you can see here, Windows Firewall, you can disable, enable. It also has UAC, which you can disable as well and also virtualization and smart screen. So you can use this if you want to for simplicity. And that's what it's designed for. But again, I'll be using uh, the registry method, which is going to be a bit more involved. But again, it's entirely up to you which method you use. You can read all the information on his website here. And it does tell you about the application, does get flagged by some antivirus programs, but it is a false positive. You have to take that into account. And this is why I'm going to go down the route of using the disabler to disable it. You've got the remover there as well, but these are the files right here. We've got antivirus D, which means disable, and the antivirus E will be the one to re-enable it if you want to. So it is reversible, and this is what I like about what this guy's done. He's actually listed all of the code here so you can see it, which makes it much more easier for people to understand and copy and paste into a text file and basically make that into a registry file so you can run it on your computer. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to keep it a little bit more uh, easier for people to understand. And that way, people do have an option to reverse it. OK, so let's go ahead and copy one of these registry files and create it. So we're going to copy the content for this one here, which is the antivirus to disable copy content. Then we go to our start button and type inside the search here N for notepad and then click on notepad and open it. Once we get notepad open, we can then uh, basically copy all of the content inside here. And once we've done this, we can then go up to file and we can then save this file. And that's what we're going to do. 
So let's go ahead and save this file as this name here. I'm going to go up, File, Save As, and then basically copy right over the whole of this text here, and then change the text document to All Files, and then click your desktop and save it to that location. That file has now been saved. And you'll need to do this to all of the registry files. And you can see we should have something looking like this on our desktop if you save them there. Now we need to create a system restore point on the computer to make sure that if we want to roll back, we can do. So type restore and click on system restore. This will open up the system restore pane and we can now configure it because it's not on. So let's go configure turn it on and basically give it some space to create system restore points to. There we go. Click OK. And that's now done. So now we need to create one. So I'm going to call this before Defender, something like that. You can call yours whatever you like. And uh, we can now click Create. And it will now create a system restore point right at this moment. So all the changes we do now, I can roll back to before Defender and it will go back to this moment in time before I've done all of those registry edits. Let's go ahead and uh, let this complete and we'll continue on. Now, like I said before, you can use the application which makes this a lot more easier. I'm not going to use that method here because I know people in the comments will say it's getting flagged by in my antivirus program as a virus. So I'm not going to do it. So let's go run. And you should now see add this information to your registry. Wasn't expecting to see this, but maybe it's because the service is running or something. But it has written the data, but not all of it. So that's okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and do this next one. And we'll go right away through here and do the rest of these smart screen and uh, all the anti phishing and also the virtualization. We'll do all of this stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and add these in. Now, once we've done this, we'll restart the system and uh, we'll hopefully have no more Windows Defender on the system. Let's go ahead and restart the computer. Now, there was that error that come up on the antivirus and I've got a suspicion that it was a permissions thing and it wouldn't let me uh, run it because obviously the antivirus is running. So maybe the program would be the better option for that and it would take care of that. But we'll see once we reboot the PC back to the desktop. So there we are, we're at the desktop now. And what we're going to do is quickly have a look at Windows Defender here. Click Settings and we'll go to Update and Security. And we'll go to Windows Security and then open up the Windows Security. But you can already see it has been removed. It's all gone and there's no Windows Defender here. So that is a good sign. Now I know people keep saying it's not Windows Defender anymore, it's Windows Security. But it's still Windows Defender at the end of the day. People know what I mean. But Windows Security could be any sort of security. So I still call it Windows Defender. So let's go ahead and close that off. And I just want to quickly check the uh, task manager here for services. And I want to see, and I can already see that anti-malware is still running. And that means there is a service there still running. And that might be because that error come up on the registry there. And it didn't stop. Uh, that file from running. So maybe that's what it is. Now you can't close this uh, particular uh, service because this service is running. Even if you click stop, you'll get access denied. And this is to protect it and stop malware from disabling it. But this is another reason why uh, Windows Defender is uh, completely useless because basically malware can disable it very easily and it can also bypass it. So that's why the reasons I don't like it and I want to turn it off. Now, if you see the two services here inside the services pane, they are running and you can't turn them off. And these are, you know, key components of Windows. But there is a way to do it and I'll show you how to do it because there's always a way to do something if you know how. So let's go ahead and go into group policy first. I just want to make a couple of little changes in here and just make sure that it doesn't come back on. So turn off. Windows Defender here, and you can see Enable and Disable. Just read the information, and it will tell you exactly what one you need to uh, put the radio button in. So let's put that into there. And you can see here, if we put this into Enable, it will say it does not run. So there you go. So let's leave that in. 
And there is a bunch of other ones in here. I'm not going to go through the whole of this sequence, but this should have already been done. But this is to, something to do with the anti-malware service to start up privacy as normal. And you can set this to low if you want to, to lower the amount of uh, resources that it will take. But I'm going to completely disable it. So I'm just going to go in here and just put this in just to make sure that it doesn't come back. There's also a task a scheduler, which we need to take a look at as well to remove it. Allow anti-malware service to remain running always. And that's something I don't want either on the system. Now, you will need Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro and above to mess around in group policy. But you can do this in the registry as well. And this uh, registry key should have actually done this. I'm pretty sure it already has. But I'm just going to disable these. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and we'll close this off. And uh, if you do want to see a program with that application doing the task for us, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to show you the program working if you'd rather see the program method, which will be a lot easier for you guys, but you wouldn't have learned anything. So let's go ahead. And now we're going to go to system configuration here. I'm going to go to boot and safe boot uh, minimal, and then restart the system into safe mode minimal uh, privileges here so we can run a bit of code inside PowerShell to stop that service from running. So we just need to let this boot to the safe mode here. And hopefully once this is done, that service should be gone and there'll be no more uh, Windows Defender running on this system. So let's go ahead and go in here. And what we're going to do is open up PowerShell here. And I just need to run a bunch of commands. Now, you can do this in the registry as well. Uh, but I'm just going to do this in PowerShell because it's just going to be a lot quicker and a lot easier. So let me go ahead and do this. So right click, go to PowerShell. And uh, I'm just going to right click here and uh, paste this in. And you can see it's changed six settings to values of four. And these are to do with that service. So we're going to change these to complete turn it off and disable it basically. Now this can be done in the registry from uh, safe mode. You can't do it from the desktop because it won't work. And once this is done, we can go back into system configuration, go to boot and uh, take out safe boot and reboot the system back to the desktop where we should now have no more service running. And this should be the end of Windows Defender and stop it running on that computer completely. So there'll be no more system resource org from a Windows Defender here. So let's go ahead and let this get back to the desktop here. Now, I didn't want to skip any of this step because I wanted to make sure that you see that it does work. And we're going to go here. And now we're going to go to uh, Task Manager here. We're just going to quickly look at Task Manager. And I just want to show you Task uh, Scheduler as well. I already did this off of camera, uh, but this is always a nice little area to go as well. Task Scheduler Library and also Microsoft and Windows and then look for my, uh, Defender inside here and just make sure these are all disabled as well. It stops it from coming back on. And uh, there we go. They're all disabled. I've just disabled these. You just highlight them and click on the right hand side where it says uh, Disable. And uh, some people delete them. I'm just going to leave them there. So you, if you want to put them back on, you can do. But these are all now turned off as well. And uh, once that's done, we can now go to Task Manager here. And now we should see that that service has gone, and it has. So that has all now been disabled. And you can see there is no Microsoft Windows Defender on this system, completely gone. And uh, it's given me back a load of resources. So that's basically how you can finally remove Windows Defender from Windows 10 and Windows 11 or any other version of Windows. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Uh, but there is a program version here which you can use, which makes this a lot more easier for you. But again, it gets back to that um, false positive uh, in the comments section. I know it would happen, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. hope this video has been some sort of use to you or educational. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Special shout out to DNA Gecko, PC Repair Tech, Gary Belts, James Cobb, Rock and Roll Rebel, Welsh Tony One, David Lees, Waleed, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, also Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate the support, guys. 
I shall see you on the Discord server, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.